guys welcome back this is the third session or the third part of sas numeric function i'm your instructor sambhav please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to get the notification of my latest video so in today's session we are going to discuss two very important and very simple functions called as int which stands for integer and round and after we have understood the concept then we will go for some practical examples so this is a list of functions which i have also uh, shown you before and uh, we have already discussed the six functions min max sum mean seal and floor so in this session we are going to talk about int and round so let's get started now as the keyword int it is nothing but a short form for integer so what it does it actually returns the integer portion of the given value or the argument and the syntax is pretty simple variable name which is going to store the result of this function so int and then you can pass this argument this argument can be either a numeric value or a numeric constant so let's assume that let's assume that i am having a number 35 point nine eight right so what will be, what will be the result of int function on this so the result would be 35 right the result would be 35 guys please remember int function will only return the integer portion so this is the only integer portion that means the whole number it does not round off no rounding off will happen in the int, int function so let's say another value is 69.999 right so if i uh, try to find the integer portion of this value it will only be 69 no rounding off will happen let's say for example minus 37.61 so it will be minus 37 so the int function will return minus 37 Let's do a practical example to understand this. So, let's say, let's give a data set name as data int underscore one. And let's say I'm having a value A is equal to 35.67. B is equal to, let's say 99.99. And let's say C is equal to minus 10, minus 10 point one two three four right now let's say result one is equal to so result one will store the result of my calculation int so i'll specify the int function and then the argument here we are specifying the argument as a numeric variable which is a similarly result two which is equal to int of b and result 3 is equal to int of c so run proc print data is equal to int underscore 1 run so let's execute the code and check our result so you see 35.67 the result is 35 no rounding off has happened here Similarly for this also the result is 99 for b 99.99 so int function does not rounds off it will only return the integer portion of the given data value it will only return the integer portion right now we will go with the next concept which is round function now round function is very much commonly used right it is used to round the value of the nearest or a value to the nearest round of unit and this is a syntax of it vname which will store the result of the execution of round function and inside the bracket will have to specify the argument and the round of unit let we will understand what round of unit is in example now let us assume that you have been given certain values let's say one two three four five dot six seven eight nine all right now let us assume that if i ask you to round off the this number up to this value that means up to 8 right so what will be the result what will be the result now so the result would be 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव डॉट सिक्स सेवन एंड नाइन बिकॉज दिस नंबर नाइन इज ग्रेटर दैन फाइव सो द प्रीवियस नंबर वुड बी इंक्रीमेंटेड बाई वन सो इट विल बिकम नाइन सिमिलरली इफ आई आस्क यू टू राउंड इट ऑफ टिल हियर टिल दिस वैल्यू सो वॉट विल बी द रिजल्ट इट वुड बी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव डॉट सिक्स एट बिकॉज अगेन नाइन ग्रेटर दैन फाइव सो द प्रीवियस वैल्यू विल बी इंक्रीमेंटेड बाई वन ईजी Similarly, if I ask you to round it off till here, till six, what will be the result? It would be one, two, three, four, five, dot seven. Correct. Now, what if I ask you to round the value till here? It would be one, two, three, four, and six. Correct. Now, guys, what if I ask you to round it off till here? some of you might say no it is not possible rounding off only happens for the values after the decimal or the digits after the decimal no this is possible this is a common misconception that rounding off does not happen before the decimal let's say for example if you go to a shop and you are trying to purchase any product and the cost of the product is let's say 12346 so if you don't have change exact Forty six three thousand twelve thousand three hundred forty six. We can round it off to twelve thousand three hundred or twelve thousand four hundred. So basically, you are rounding off. So rounding off is also possible before the decimal. So the result would be one two three five zero because this value is greater than five. Now see in this situation, I have rounded off. to two digits after the decimal so the round off unit is nothing but 0.01 right two digits similarly here i have rounded off only up to one digit so this is 0.1 similarly here we have rounded off till here so the round off unit is one here we have rounded it off till here so here the round off unit would be 10 similarly it goes on rounding off your to 100 place 1000 place and so on and so forth now let's do a practical example to understand this now let's say for example i am creating a data set called as data round round 1 let's say in file cards input let's say a And let me create a value one two three four five dot six seven eight nine, right? This is the same thing we have used. Uh, so we have okay. So I did not explain this part. I'm sorry. So this is your rounding off till it was till here, right? So this was till zero point zero zero one, right? So we have taken the same value, same example. So let's see run. Print data is equal to round one. Right. Let me just print the result. I mean, check the data set. I have made some mistake. Let's okay. So I have made some mistake here. Yeah. So I have put the semicolon here itself, which was supposed to be in the next line. so this is a null statement if i keep my if i have my semicolon here it means the semicolon also becomes a part of this particular value so it should be in the next line which is nothing but a null statement now we will be able to read the data set correctly okay so now uh, sas is only reading up to two units so what we will do is we will format it let me use a format statement format a so let it be 10 dot Four, right? So now it will print all the four digits after the decimal. Say six, seven, eight, nine. Correct. Now let's start rounding it off. Let's say result one is equal to. So I will use the function round, and the argument here is a. That means a numeric variable or a numeric constant. And then I have to specify the round off unit. so this is your round off unit right this is your round off unit 
this is your round off unit this is your round off unit so i will specify that 0 0.001 semicolon uh, let me just copy this part so that it will be easy for me to see the results again i can give rounding off to 0 0.01 similarly r3 will be rounding off to 1 and result 4 would be rounding off to 1 correct uh, let's see one more result where we will say rounding off up to 10th place right so this is equal to sign guys so now let's execute the code and see the result so okay uh, so it is only printing by default sas will only print two digits after the decimal so let me format it right so um, let me format r1 to r3 r1 to r3 that would be enough and let's format it as 10.4 uh, this is an additional line I'm writing just to display the result so that you'll be able to observe the result clearly. All right. Now you see here. So A, so we have rounded off to 0 0.001, so up to 9. So 8, so if you look at this part, so since 9 is greater than 5, so the previous value has been incremented by 1, so 8 has become 9 here. Uh, this 0 you are seeing only because we have used the format statement 10.4 so it will have 4 uh, digits after the decimal well it does not make any difference 6.8 let's say for example here 0 0.68 is equivalent to 0 0.6800 right similarly here we have tried to round it off to 0 0.01 so it will here so since this value 9 is greater than 5 so the previous value will be incremented by 8 similarly here this value will be incremented uh, by 1 so it will become 7 and see now again this value is incremented up to this is to 1 unit so this uh, because of 7 my 5 is increased by 1 so it becomes 6 similarly in order to round it off to the 10th tenth place so this 4 will become 5 and we'll get 0 i hope the result is clear to you guys I hope you would have understood the round off concept clearly. Thank you very much for your time and patience. You have a wonderful day ahead and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.